Hi everyone, this is Sarg here from Data Mites. So today's interview question is that what is eval function? So while doing some of your Python codes, you must have came across this term eval. So what exactly this is eval function? So if I just write E-V-A-L eval, you see that this term to be green. So it's a global keyword for Python, right? So what exactly this eval function does? So basically what this eval function does that uh, this eval function takes any expression and uh, first it parses it, then it compiles it, compiles in such a way into bytecode so that it can be properly executed. And finally, it evaluates the result and give back the answer to us. <clears throat> uh, so let's see, if I simply say, you know, <clears throat> if I have, let's say two plus two, okay. And you know that this is a integer and it is getting added with one another integer. We are going to get four. But when I put this expression in the form of string two plus two, I'll not get anything as such. I mean, I'll get the result, but whatever the desired thing that I have thought of, I'm not going to get it because this is in a form of a string. But if I simply put the same expression into the form of eval function inside the eval function as such, two plus two, I'll get the value of four. Now, why we are getting a value of four? Because the eval function basically accepts the data into the string form and then it compiles it into bytecode. And third, it evaluates the result. Evaluates means it evaluates the way it is supposed to get evaluated. And hence we are getting the value of four. So, <clears throat> you know, this uh, uh, input keyword, right? It takes input from the user. And you know that, that anything that a user is inputting in this case is going to give you the output in the form of a string. So if I say, let's say input, please provide me with, <clears throat> please provide me with, uh, Python expression, okay. This is what I said. And, uh, you know, if I just simply enter it, what's going to happen? Let's say <clears throat> if the user says Nisarg, it will get Nisarg because this Nisarg is basically in the form of a string. But if the user gives, let's say he wants to add up two numbers. Let's say he wants to add two numbers, 10 plus 12 in this case. And when he press enters, it's not going to get added. The reason is, the reason is the input fun function by, by default, you know, converts the input into a form of string. And that's the reason it's only getting converted in the form of string. But if I put EVAL eval function on top of this, and now if I run the cell and uh, now if the user gives 10 plus 12, and if he, hits, if he hits the enter, you see, he got the exact value what he desired for. So an eval function is a function which takes an expression. It can take any expression, no matter what. But we have to make sure that the expression is coming in the form of a string. So <clears throat> if I say, let's say five greater than four, we know that it's going to give me a true value because this is what the expression says. And uh, if I put the same thing in a form of a string, five greater than four as such, it's not going to give me I mean, it's going to give me back, but it's not going to give me the result that I wanted. It's going to give me the result in the form of a string. But this is one of the condition where we anticipate it to returns back me some Boolean value like true and false. So if simply I take eval function and put the same thing like this in the form of a string, and if I run this, you'll see it will evaluate the result and it's whatever proper expression form that has been given to it. So, but the main crux is that it requires the input to be in the form of a string. So this is how a eval function works. Okay. Thank you.